The counterbalance valve acts as a braking valve for the hydraulic motor when lowering loads or moving downhill. The valve is composed of a casing, check valve, spool, and other components. When a load is being lifted, hydraulic oil from the pump passes through port A, pushes open the poppet on the check valve, exits through port D towards the motor, and rotates the motor. The returning oil from the motor then passes through port C and B and returns to the tank. When a load is suspended, the circuit from the motor to the counterbalance valve is closed by the spool. This causes internal pressure to accumulate due to the weight of the suspended load, which holds the load in place. When a load is being lowered, hydraulic oil from the pump is sent to the motor and passes through ports B and C. With the circuit between ports D and A closed, pressure accumulates in the inlet side. As pressure builds, oil passes through the pilot passage of the spool and applies pressure to the side of the spool. This pressure gradually overtakes the spool spring, moving the spool. As the spool moves, the circuit between port D and A opens. This allows the motor to rotate, lowering the load. At this point, the motor will attempt to rotate quickly due to the weight of the load. However, pressure decreases in the inlet side, closing the spool. As a result, Internal pressure builds between the motor and counterbalance holding the load. By repeating this process, the load can be lowered smoothly.